Guys, today we talk about the top five best suspension. We're talking about the best of the best and if it's worth it. Let's roll that intro. All right, guys, on today's Talking Mods, it's actually a subject that I, um, I really like. Um, it is suspension, obviously. And um, I'm going to talk about the top five best suspension. And I know you're probably thinking, well, is he going to talk about off-road or is he going to talk about motorsport? I'll talk about both. Um, I'm going to start off in the motorsport, so uh, in the motorsport world. And this is the best of the best. I'm talking about the high end. Lotus in second, the white BMW M3 going around. When we're talking about this, we're talking about the quality, what real racers are using. Um, we're talking about what people are using uh, to win competition um, and it could it be used on your personal car yes and is there a big difference in price yeah sure um, but you do get what you pay for and I'm going to explain that and I'm going to kind of maybe debunk some of the myths about it without further ado I'm going to pick this first company so that I can explain suspension and motorsport world concepts and I think it'll make a lot of sense um, Olin's um, Olin's is one of the top brands out there. They uh, have been part of motorsport for quite a long time. Now, Olin's makes a, a road version, right, for everyday person, and they make the motorsport version. And I've got a, a really interesting story for you guys in the motorsport wor world. Uh, but the motorsport stuff, it really depends on what you add and how much you do. We're talking about a starting point of about $10,000 that can go up to about, you know, fifteen dollars to $20,000. <laughs> with an Olean system and this is really really like comprehensive race system but Olean's technology even as it's brought down into that road and track version which is going to be about it wasn't the 3500 range I think these days you can probably get uh, some systems around the $2800 range actually really a good amazing system and it's crazy because they are still producing stuff like they didn't release for example the E46 M3 till 10 no it was more than 10 years it was about 12 years after the life cycle of it when they finally got around to making that suspension for it. So they're still producing it and believing it's a top seller for the E46 M3. For the guys who really have an E46 M3 or who are collecting it and want the best system, they put it on there. Um, or the best road system. Now, in the motorsport and all that, their philosophy is very interesting. It's about comfort. It's about how comfortable you are when you drive. This misconception that racing suspension is going to be stiff is the complete and opposite in every single sense of it. This is the number one misunderstood and I and I often hear this and, and I'm gonna say this even uh, from my dad or my personal friends they think that when they buy a sports car that means the suspension is supposed to be stiffer. Um, that's how the manufacturers might make it but that's not how it's supposed to be. Comfort is the is the way it's supposed to be. The more comfortable you are and the more sure-footed you are with a suspension, the further you will go and push that vehicle into that turn. It's whatever works for the car, whatever works for the driver. So when you feel that the vehicle is slipping, what do you do? You correct yourself, right? Now if you've really driven and you know that the car can handle that turn, you end up pushing further and further in. You want to be comfortable. The guys who are driving 24-hour Le Mans and every three days, so at least now it's, it's a short and they're driving all these crazy endurance races and so forth. They need some insane suspension, right? If you're doing Nürburgring, which is what, uh, well, depends on how fast your car is, but let's just say average, well, let's say the average person, let's say he's doing an 11 minute, or if, if you're a, you know, a professional race car driver, you're doing it in seven minutes, whatever. Has a lot of changes in the suspension, right? You're doing a lot of bank turns, you're doing uh, roads that are not um, even. What you end up seeing is that you need comfort over the long term, right? You need it to handle, handle the bumps that come across, the, the steering, everything needs to be there. So the best way I could describe an Olin's on the, on the road system, right, um, is to describe it in, in the sense that when you're driving on it, number one is it's there, it's comfortable, and let's say you're, and we over here, we have a railroad track, right? So when we hit that railroad track, Bruh. Yeah, you hit it, and most of the time with some of some crazy suspension or just springs, what will end up happening with the steering wheel is just it'll bump out, right? You'll just kind of, 
you'll kind of feel it and you recorrect yourself, right? That half a little second where you correct yourself. Well, with the Olins, you drive over it and I've just gone over the, the rail track. I didn't even adjust. You felt it, you know that it was there, but you didn't even need to make a correction. It just eats it up. So you know the road imperfections and you know it. If there was a quarter on the road, you could probably feel that too on the middle of the track. Um, but I'm going to talk about the rest of these brands, okay? So not just them. Um, Penske. Penske coilovers. They're custom built coilovers. They're going to start around 20. Um, you're obviously going to need a very big specialist. You know, the guys here at Mod Bargains are equipped for it. Um, it's not that any, any retail shop can just do this. You've got to really know what you're doing. And we have the guys here who have like the pedigree. So shameless plug, I guess, but I'm not trying to be. It's just the reality is you do need someone to help you out in picking the right suspension for you. Um, and I'll talk about this as I talk about the other brands, but Penske, phenomenal system. Um, probably the most expensive and the one that's winning all the top races. Um, you need to set it up correctly. Um, that's going to cost you at the beginning of 20 and it can just continue to go up. Uh, from there, it is a custom built coilover and that's the way they work on it. And I'm looking over here on the side because I wrote down a couple of them. Um, this one is Moton AST, so this as well comes from Europe. Um, also built uh, to order. They have all the parts, components. Um, again, I'll go back to that E46 M3 since I was using that as an example. On the Nürburgring and on trying to set the record, they used a three-way Moton AST. So, uh, phenomenal system there, right? Um, but do you need that? Now, it also depends on your ability, how far you are in your um, area of tracking is what is the best way I can describe it because once you start getting into like a three-way and I'm gonna and most of the guys will say just buy the three-way off the bat it is a lot more expensive sometimes you just need a two-way if you've got some years of track uh, and some experience you'll go with a two-way obviously the more that you have the ability to tune in it, it starts to get a little bit more confusing um, and you really got to be in tune with the car and need to make those adjustments you got to look at all the different areas what track you're going on, you need to do the suspension changes according to it, right? So that's if you need that. But a really good race system like theirs will also be comfortable, which is another one. Um, let's continue on with this. I'm not trying to make it too long. Uh, this one could be a little controversial, but um, it's KW. Now, I am not talking about the KW that you get on your average, average, you know, the lifetime warranty. I'm talking about the high, high end. And now you're probably thinking club sport. I'm not putting the, I, I think the club sport's great and everything, but I'm talking about the race competition level. And if you've ever been in one of those, uh, you will be blown away. And the guys who've been in the club sports rave about it. But, um, so KW has their main product line that most people know it, lifetime warranty, fantastic product. I'm not saying anything wrong about it. And that's going to be the best for, for most of us, right? Um, if you want to have something that's a little bit better, if you own like an M4 or you own an R8 or whatever it might be, it's going to probably be the club sport. Uh, again, you're going to need to go to a specialized dealer, like a preferred dealer like, like us at Mod Bargains. Um, but it's going to be a preferred dealer. Um, actually, you can't just buy that everywhere. Um, they want shops that know what they're doing and that can make the right recommendations for you. And you only you have a limited warranty, almost no warranty with these things, right? They're really good about it though, they build it. Um, in one of the videos that I did, I think we can put it up. These are the, the competition stuff right here that you would see in your race car stuff. You can see the KW R&D. Um, KW not, might not want to say this, but they do use technology that's licensed from Olin's and that's how they get to that race competitive level. And KW has done an incredible job uh, on the race competitive. And when you do buy one of the race uh, components from them, you get a full support team. You get a full truck. Now, this is in Europe. Sorry. So this is in Europe. And I'm hoping in the U.S. this happens, too. I know this uh, might have not even heard about this in the U.S. But in Europe, there's actually race support trucks that go and evaluate your suspension, go back with your numbers, and help you make the adjustments. That in itself is like having a full race team, someone to make and tune your suspension for you. That's incredible. That's an, an amazing value. If they do that here in the U.S., I see no reason why the KW race suspension won't become one of the best. And I'm obviously going to be pushing for it um, ever since I learned about it. Um, so I think that makes them come in there, uh, into that conversation. But, you know, obviously we've got the Olins and we've got the Penske winning at the competition level. The Moton AST right in there. 
and, you, and I said top five, right? So this one is an obscure one. You might not know it, um, especially in the GTR and the Nissan world. Um, very, very small company, but incredibly uh, incredible. And if you guys know this one off the top of your head, I'm going to be surprised because then you really know your mods. I'm just checking, and, and they have an interesting name. Kind of sounds like an, uh, uh, like the Midori Sour, but it's Midori, otherwise known as Aragosta System. Uh, their coilovers are very, very in tune, very comfortable. Um, they do some amazing performance. I didn't cover any off-road, so I'm going to give you the off-road, um, and it's extremely important because it's actually fairly simple. You probably have seen it. You usually see it on the very, very expensive trucks and so forth, or trophy trucks. The ones that are winning on in Baja, um, any of these competitions, right? Um, uh, King of the Hill, whatever you might see, it's always going to be these top two. And there are some outside competitors, but it still comes down to these top two. And um, the first one I'm going to say is, and I think if I was putting in a ranking, I go with King personally, um, only because I haven't had as much experience with the second one. But with King, honestly, um, blew me away. Um, I ran some other ones um, on the Jeep. And once I put the King on, not only was it completely comfortable, ate up, dampening, all that stuff. I mean, it was just, you know, where you're going completely off-road and you're, you're climbing on it and you're, you're feeling that suspension completely travel through all the travel motion. No issues. No issues. Now, these are very expensive systems. I mean, when you look at the trophy truck stuff and you're probably wondering how expensive is it and you're, you've seen it. I'm sure you guys have driven by and you've seen these guys running, you know, King Shocks and stuff like that. And the next one, uh, you know, we're talking about fifteen, twenty thousand dollars systems. Wow. Um, sometimes more, and they've got the external reservoir, um, all this additional damping. Uh, these cars, these trophies are jumping. You know, these are cars that are jumping, <laughs> and they they need all that absorption, and they want to be as comfortable as possible. If you've ever driven in a Baja or anything like that, it is extremely fatiguing. Um, it is it is not a simple race. Um, you might we might say the 24 hour Le Mans is extremely fatiguing. That is also with all the suspension travel that they have to go through, the jumps, etc. Uh, across the board, they need as best as possible the best and most comfortable suspension. The second one in there, and maybe I shouldn't put it in order because this is going to be well. You guys decide, right? You guys put in the comments which one do you guys think is the best in the off road. And if I forgot any, let me know. But the second one is Fox. Um, I think that was an obvious choice, but Fox makes incredibly good suspension. They also make it in the motorbike scene and so forth. Um, guys, these were with, this was my top five with the two that come, came out from the from the off road. So top top suspension. We're talking about the best money can buy, and you really do get what you pay for on these. Obviously, these are not easy to sometimes obtain, and you really do need a specialist. Um, I say that to you because whoever you speak to should really understand and have some experience with this. And you yourself might not be in that position where you have that experience. So if you are considering something like this, and it's something that I personally love because it completely changes the dynamic of the car, it just, it's just its a whole other level. Your car just becomes a whole other animal, in my, in my opinion. Um, do speak to a professional. See where you're at in your own abilities. Um, and make the right decision. Obviously, it's about the right budget, and keep that in mind. Guys, as always, um, if you like this content, give it a like, thumb up, and we appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, um, hit the notify. Uh, please do so. And again, as always, we appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next Talking Mods.